try to show you our documentation that we have at the moment, which is um, which is this website. And at the moment, we have a catalog of nine pieces that are finished, more in the works. And the idea, really, of this space, and this is a s this is a sketch of it actually, um, is that it's not just an installation with one work in it. Um, because we think that community-driven or um, collaborative work is really important. Or, as an artist, I find that I'm much more productive when I'm in a dialogical situation than when I'm s cl closeted up at home and simmering my own juice. I, I don't get any new ideas. It's in the exchange, actually, that we... I think that's a very human kind of... Uh, a principle that we w that we think and and develop and and get new ideas actually from interacting with other people. So this platform is is really thought to be a container. And there's other initiatives like this. There's the um, the Cine Chamber, which was also located here in San Diego for a while, which is really a, a surround cinema. And what we really aim for is not a cinematic situation. So it's not a cave, it's not a surround cinema, but it's, it is really a, uh, a space for, for interactive um, media arts pieces. And what, what we like to emphasize is actually exactly for that purpose um, to, to think of the, the arts pieces in there less as a narrative or linear pieces, but more generative pieces. And generative means that they're on the one hand they're rule based, but if they're interactively gener generative, they're also audience driven. So some of the pieces don't generate anything if you don't touch them. Um, so maybe this is, would be a good point to go back in uh, in time and tell you a bit about how we how this came about. So this is. Um, this installation, now it's 2015. So it's been about six, six and a half years in the making. And this, uh, the infrastructure we have now is the result of two research grants that we had from 2008 to 2011. And um, the first installation that we did was also, also traveled to California and was shown in, uh, in San Francisco in, in the Gray Era Foundation for the Art in 2010. And let me find a picture. This is just my photo library, so... Um, an outside view of that, maybe. These are all inside views. Where is it? Uh, oh, I have a website I open for that as well. So the, th the, the idea uh, was similar. It's that it's a surrounding installation and what we what we see here actually is does this work so this is a setup in the gallery space and it's a dodecahedron so it's a platonic solid meaning um we have 12 pentagons 20 vertices and this is actually um a uh, uh, skeletal frame for setting up a 20 channel equidistant um surround audio installation so we have 20 channels of audio in the in the vertices oh there's a setup image so in that in that exhibition in 2010 we actually added um rear projection surfaces on the on on all of the pentagons except one so there would be one entrance and then inside there was a touch table um and that's actually an interesting fact because it also um I don't know whether you can see here, but you have the images on above on those reprojected surfaces, and you have the touch interacting surf surface at the bottom. Um, and there's a mismatch in spaces. So, if you seen from above, what you now have is a circular space with an with an entrance door. It's 360 degree video, sound, and touch. Um, we use mirrors, no smoke, um, just to fit it in a space. I mean, this is seven meters, which would be 21 feet. So already we have problems finding gallery spaces to put this in, or lab spaces for that matter. And you'll see how it how it's set up. Um, so we're 
instead of going for a spherical surround with image above and below and behind, we actually thought, well, the human perception is actually horizontal, so we'll go for horizontal um, circular screen. So that's what you see in in this sketch. Um, yeah, so uh, right now we have a catalog of nine pieces and the catalog is growing as we speak in this class here and in the workshop next month in San Francisco. And we really are keen to see uh, a, a big number of works coming, coming uh, together. And that's also the way we present it. So when, when you come and visit um, the installation in the performative computing lab, we will be switching pieces. Uh, not all of them are running smoothly. Some of them run three or four pieces of software in parallel. And um, some of them are very new, so it's kind of shaky. So you might not see all nine pieces. Um, two of the pieces are done by ourselves. Um, so we can certainly tell you in detail what the ideas were behind and what we what we did. Um, we have the documentation of all the works here, and actually, I took the time. Oh, that's my own. So sorry, I just switched to another one. Uh, I took the time to interview each artist this spring, and actually, if you go to the website, you can actually go watch what that artist has to say about about the piece and there's a little video and there's also a little text. So I think that's another issue that we face is how to document these kinds of works. And um, I, I know that this is a topic for Katrina as well, is um, conservation of digital arts. Uh, I'm not sure how this will work out with this. The big issue being that you can conserve the, m the media content, but you cannot conserve the spatial experience or the situational experience. And I, I wouldn't even know how to document this, even with the very new immersive Oculus Plus binaural, the essential aspect of being in that space and actually with in a tactile way interacting with that space is really different from what virtual reality does. So those are just aspects to think about and those are aspects that um, we think about certainly when we when we do this activity. Um, so yeah, I have a few more images to show. It was interesting to see the crates. I haven't seen those pictures, but I know that it's uh, 1,700 pounds of material that we shipped on a container. It took two months across the sea. Um, uh, meaning that that um, in order to get this together, there's a lot of work involved, and um, it took quite a quite a bit of time to get this to run so we're again I'm I'm really happy to be here and it's a it's a really nice experience to be here um let me see if I can show you some images from the very beginnings just going through my library here oh this is already running so these were the first pieces so let's go back a bit more um hmm how is that? So these are the frames that we have. Can you see that? Yeah, so this is in our, in our old lab in, in Zurich. Um, building stuff. So that's one of the competences we also have is, ma uh, is manufacturing. Uh, we're also building instruments and doing electronics. We have a, a, a wide variety of skill sets available that we most of our research is geared towards arts and science kind of combinations which this actually also represents in a way you won't see that much science but there's a lot of computer science behind it but also um, investigations into uh, perception attention uh, interaction so this is also what this uh, platform offers us 